I've always been a political junkie and it, it really started um, probably in third or fourth grade. You know, I, I would have conversations with my parents and I remember having a conversation with my grandfather where he asked me what I would do if I was president. And at the time I said I would make all sidewalks and streets dirt so kids didn't get hurt on them. Not a very good policy looking back. Um, but I was always interested in politics but just didn't know where I wanted to go with it beyond simply studying. I was in the Junior Statesman of America, which was the debate program at my high school, um, and I became president of the debate club for a year while I was in high school. Um, and then in, at OCCC joined the Oklahoma Intercollegiate Legislature, which gets to come up here and kind of play legislator for a few days during the semester. Shane Stone has had great interest in politics since a very young age, and he grew up identifying with the hardworking families of his native South Oklahoma City. When it came time for college, OCCC was a natural choice for him. I was working two jobs most of the time and going to school there, so sometimes I'd show up to class in muddy jeans and work boots, but it, it worked with my schedule incredibly well. Um, it just it fit my lifestyle at the time where it it just perfectly fit where I was going in life and where I was coming from. In political science, I got to take a, a wide range of classes. My intro to law class was still one of the toughest classes I ever took that, and my capstone class with Dr. Smith were just incredibly rigorous, um, but prepared me for what I do now in, in so many ways. Um, and I even had a, a school project while I was in state and local government to actually come up here to the Capitol and watch what went on, and it was at that time that I decided, at some point in my future, I wanted to be working right here in this room, just by watching all the energy in the room, um, and that all started with a school project from OCCC. For that school project, I got to sit on the floor with Representative Morissette, and while I was in the intercollegiate legislature the next semester at OCCC, um, I stopped by his office just to say hi, and talked to um, his assistant, Jackie, and that led to an internship where I would come up here three days a week and, and kind of shadow. And it was during that time that I had people start approaching me saying, you know, your home district, we need a good Democrat to run there because the current Democrat's going to term out. Are you interested at all? And I said, you know, I, I probably won't be really ready for that for another 10 years. Um, but eventually people just started introducing me to people saying, this is Shane Stone and he's running for the State House of Representatives. Before I knew it, I was, I was wrapped up in it and I was, when I really realized it, it was possible for me to get here, I was excited and I hit the ground running from that point. Shane began a campaign for Oklahoma House District 89 while still pursuing his bachelor's degree in political science at the University of Oklahoma. So I started campaigning, um, it was a year before uh, I graduated college. It was about March to May of 2013 and I graduated in 2014. So throughout that entire last year of my college experience I was running for office. At the very beginning of my campaign I had someone tell me, everyone's going to tell you you're too young, but just remember that is always an advantage because you have more energy than anyone else out there and you have a you just have an appeal to people because some people want that new those new ideas, want the new blood in politics. Um, so it was, it was different. And I did have a few people at door say, you know, you're just, you're so young. I don't, I don't know, that seems off. But I had more, for every person that would say something like that, I had two or three people that said, you're exactly what we need in Oklahoma politics because we need someone to go up there and shake it up and really make a difference, be idealistic, be young, come in with those fresh ideas. After months of knocking on doors to introduce himself and his ideas, in his primary election in June 2014, Shane finished 11 points behind the leader. Disheartening, but still with enough votes to make the runoff. The runoff election evening was wonderful because it was, uh, you know, we won by 22 points. We had this huge swing that a lot of people didn't see coming. A lot of the political junkies in Oklahoma wrote me off two months prior, and then we came back and threw the election the other way. Um, in, having the minority leader Scott Inman stop by my watch party and you know and getting all these phone calls and text messages that was a wonderful night. With no opposition in the general election Shane was sworn in as the representative for District 89 in January of 2015 and his work for his constituents began in earnest. Shane has spent his first term being a passionate advocate for public education. Public education is 
is first and foremost for me, uh, just because I'm aware of the opportunities it granted me, especially you know when I talk about how I got to where I am today, OCCC is a huge part of that. So community colleges, uh, Metro Tech, the Metro Tech system and things like that, um, I think are incredibly important. The less fun one to talk about that I'm also really passionate about is, is the tax system. Um, there are quite a few things wrong with our tax system and I enjoy getting in the weeds on those issues and working on them. The talking points aren't as good and you know you don't necessarily always talk about that when you're knocking doors but those are I would say the both sides of my passion because in both areas you can really help the working class, the middle class, uh, create opportunities for itself. He's just got a, a major focus on public education because in his district there are a lot of folks, a lot of middle class and, and, and working class citizens in his district that will not have the chance to succeed if we don't have a good robust public education system and Shane understands that and so he's been a true advocate for uh, sort of the small business uh, community as well as the public education community. He's done that on his, in his committee work and more importantly he's done it on the house floor. I've gotten a bit of a reputation for being a bit, uh, a bit forward with people. I, you know, I, I have my stances on issues. If I see something wrong in a bill, I'll go after it. Um, I was one of the more vocal members of the House of Representatives across my first two years. I voted no, um, the second most out of any any representative in the entire legislature, which I was was a record I was quite proud of, considering the direction the state's gone with a few things. Shane's hard work on behalf of his district and all Oklahomans has been recognized and appreciated and consequently he is unopposed for re-election for a second term. Well I've learned so much throughout my first two years um, but it's I've just been able to get up and fight for the people of South Oklahoma City and for uh, kids like me who you know after they leave high school they start off at a community college or something they come from working families and they have their goals in mind, but they have to work a little harder to get there. It's been, representing those people has been a truly rewarding experience. Please welcome 2016 Alumni Hall of Fame inductee, Representative Shane Stone. <laughs>